What's up, guys? Me again. And this time I'm here with May June 2011 Integrated Science Class Paper. So let's jump right into it. Item 1 refers to the diagram of a vertical section of a flower with parts labeled 1, 2, 3, and 4. So which part of the flower produces the male gametes? That would be A, which is 1, that is pointing to the anther. The gametes is the pollen. Item 2 refers to the following diagram. So we have um, a seed and something coming out of it. So the structure labeled 1 is the radical. Remember the radical, the young root, and that is going to go wrong, um, sorry, downwards with gravity. 3. A drop of brown iodine solution was added to a grain of corn, and a blue-black color was observed. So this indicates the presence of C, which is starch. Iodine is used for the starch test. Items 4 to 5 refers to the following hormones. We have insulin, tyroxine, adrenaline, and testosterone. So match each hormone with the functions listed below. You may use each hormone once, more than once, or not at all. So which of the following above, I'm sorry, which of the above hormones is associated with each of the following functions? For the growth of facial hair in teenage boys, that would be D, testosterone, and five, the treatment of persons suffering with diabetes. Diabetes, we know, is a lack um, of insulin being produced or the body is not responsive to the insulin that is being made. So persons with diabetes have to take insulin to control their blood glucose levels. So that would be E. Um, six, which part of the eye allows a person to focus on both near and distant objects? That would be B, which is the lens, able to change its shape due to that A word, accommodation. Item 7 refers to that drawing of a kidney nephron below, with parts labeled 1, 2, 3, and 4. So 7, at which label the part of the kidney nephron does ultrafiltration take place? So remember, ultrafiltration is the first thing that happens, and it deals or it's associated with the glomerulus, which is like the ball um, of capillaries coming from the renal artery. And we have that in the first structure, the first part of the nephron, which is that cup-like shape, the Bowman's capsule. So that would be A, which is showing 1. Eight. All of the following conditions result from cigarette smoking except B, blurred and deteriorating vision. Oh, that didn't really think B. Right. So nine, which of the following structures contains light sensitive cells? That would be the retina with the rods and cones. Ten, the main function of a filter bed um, in a water treatment plant is to C, remove the fine um, solids, for example, mud and uh, excreta. Eleven, which of the following methods for treating waste usually involves the action of bacteria? The answer would be decomposting. If you looked at the previous video, which was 2010, this question had appeared. So we're already seeing some questions repeating itself. Um, question 9 was also there. 12. Um, 41 teenagers fell ill after having swimming lessons in a popular swimming pool. The cause of the illness was most likely due to decontamination of the water. 13. Which fishing equipment is least effective for commercial fishing? That would be C, hand lines. 14. Which component used in chemical, I'm sorry, electrical circuits melts and breaks the circuit if too much current passes through it? The answer would be B. That's the purpose of a fuse. Item 15 refers to the diagram of four circuits shown below. So we have one, two, three, and four. Which two circuits are wired in parallel? 
parallel, meaning one on top, the next, so it's stacked. It's not in one line or continuous. So the answer would be two and three, which would be B. 16. Electrical wires are usually coated with plastic or rubber so that they, C, are properly insulated. 17. The inhalation of exhaust gas from motor, fume, uh, motor car fumes can be fatal because the gas, D, contains carbon monoxide which blocks the body's uptake of oxygen. Remember that binds irreversibly to the hemoglobin in the red blood cells. So item 18 to 19 refers to the following safety equipment. So which protective wear is best suited for someone performing the following tasks? So 18, welding a broken iron gate. This answer, ignore that. It is, should not be B. The answer should be A. And um, 19, demolishing an whole building that should be B so you have to protect your head right they are saying the best yes um when you're welding you want to use gloves you want to use helmets you want to use um goggles and maybe depending on what you're using a chest mask right the same for demolishing um an old building but when they say the best one you have to think about which one you like need which is necessary you can't do without it which is the most important one 20 a major problem with plastic is that it is d not biodegradable 21 which of the following methods is used for canning foods this would be a tin 22 Two balls are used to compare the, bon um, the bunks of two tennis tables. Which of the following properties of the ball is least important? The color. It has, that has nothing to do with the color of the ball. Item 23 or question 23. So question 23. At which of the following angles must a javelin um, be thrown in order to achieve the maximum range? To achieve maximum range, we want to have the least height. So that would be 30, which is A. 24. A female competitive swimmer needs swimwear from an, I'm sorry, for an upcoming championship competition. So which of the following types of swimsuits best meets her needs? That would be close fitting, made of smooth, light, thin material, which is A. <laughs> Excuse the background noise again, please. Wow. All right, so 25. Which part of the um, air of a scuba diver is most likely to be damaged? The answer would be C, the eardrum. 26. The pitch of the note produced by a vibrating string is affected least by the color. Again, color has nothing to do with it. 27. Television owners are advised not to open the back of their television set during viewing because C, a person may be hurt by high voltage. 28. There are limits to the height and mass of material which can be transported by a vehicle. The reason for this is, again, D to ensure the center of gravity is not raised beyond safe limits. This question was also there in the 2010. The boundary formed by the meeting of two air masses is called B, the front. 30, which type of shoe and which type of shoe soles are best suited for an athlete in a road race? The answer would be rubber. Item 31 refers to the outcomes of a biological process. So the outcomes above are true for 
they're saying um, we have genetically identical offsprings are produced. The entire area can be colonized easy and a whole population is susceptible to the same disease. All of this is linked to asexual reproduction. 32. Which of the options A to D best completes the following path to fertilization? So pollen, then what, then ovary. It's pollen, then stigma, then the ovary. 33. The names of three types of um, blood vessels found in the human circulatory system are we have arteries, veins, and we know the thinnest ones being the capillaries. 34. Food molecules that are absorbed through the walls of the small intestines are transported by plasma. Remember, the plasma is the liquid part of the blood. 35. When compared to blood um, supplied to the kidneys, an equal volume of blood leaving the kidney in a healthy individual has less urea. The rest, if we were to go through the others, it doesn't make sense. We know it's not going to have less glucose because all of the glucose is going to be reabsorbed in the proximal convoluted tubule. Um, it doesn't have anything to do with blood protein. And most definitely, it's not going to have more sodium chloride because we're removing any excess salt from the blood. We're not adding to it. 56. The part of nerve impulses in a reflex action when a hand is quickly removed from touching a hot object is B. So you have the sensory nerve to the spinal cord, the spinal cord to the motor nerve, and the motor nerve, nerve to the muscle. It will never start with the motor nerve. It will never start with the muscle. And the next one they had was sensory nerve, yes, but sensory does not go to the motor nerve and then the spinal cord, and then the muscle. That's in the wrong order. Then 37, which hormone is usually released by persons continually working under stressful conditions? The answer would be B, adrenaline. Items 38 to 39 refer to the following process by which heat is transferred. So we have evaporation, conduction, convection, and radiation. So match each statement below with the appropriate process listed above. So each process, again, may be used once, more than once, or not at all. So 38, water particles, which gain, which have gained, sorry, heat energy, change from liquid state to the gaseous state. What type of an, um, transfer is that? That would be A. Right, that's evaporation. Um, 39. The handle of a metal spoon becomes hot when left in a pot on the fire. The answer would be B. Conduction. 40. Two chemicals found in fertilizers that do not cause excessive growth of plant life are calcium, and carbon. 41. Which unit of electricity is a measure of power? The answer would be C, the watt. Again, this question, very, very, very common. 42. A refrigerator has a rating of 0 0.45 kilowatt hours. The electricity using kilowatt hours by the refrigerator for one day is equal to D. Four, I'm 0 0.45 multiplied by 24. We have 24 hours in a day. 43. The dumping of all batteries and corrosive chemicals in landfills and waterways is prohibited because B pollutants produce a negative effect on the environment. We also saw this question in um, the previous paper, 2010. Then 44, 
the action of the bone in the human forearm and bicep muscle is an example of a simple lever. Remember, we have um, all of the different types of levers in the body and you should know the different examples. So you want to find out your neck, um, the base of your foot, and also with the hand there, yeah, the movement coming up and down. 45. A carbon dioxide fire extinguisher works by C, excluding oxygen. This was also in 2010. Item 46 refers to the following diagram showing the meter readings in kilowatt hours at Mary's new home. So assuming that all the readings started at zero, how many kilowatt hours of electricity were used? So remember, they're showing you the arrows where we're starting. So starting here, then going in this order. So if you look at this, this is zero. This one, we're reading in this direction, because remember, we go clockwise, then anti-clockwise when we're reading these analog um, meters, right? So it's closer to five. So that would basically give us our answer there, which is E. Now, if at any point you were confused, then we know for sure it is not um, C, and we know it is not D. It could only be a or B. So the endings are the same. Some of them, the ending will be different and that might be the point at which you can confirm the answer. But with this one, you have to look very carefully and note that once it's not closer or past the half mark to the other point, then it's the reading before, which in this case is the five. And it's actually very, very close to the five there. Item 47 to 48 refer to the following properties of substances. So one, high melting point, two, good electrical and thermal conductors, three, insulate against um, both heat and electricity, and four, low boiling and melting points. So 47, which of the above are characteristics of metals? The answer would be one and two, high melting points and good electrical and thermal conductors. And which of the above, oh, um, sorry, which of the above are characteristics of non-metals? The answer would be three and four. Insulates against both heat and electricity and has a low boiling and melting point. 49 refers to the following diagram, which illustrates a simple food chain. So plant to animal one, then animal one to animal two, and animal two to animal three. So the herbivore in this food chain is B, animal one. The herbivore is always found after the producer. And this question was also there in um, 2010, but instead of having it down as they had it going to the side, the only different thing. 50. Oops. So engaging in strenuous exercise immediately after meal, um, a meal, sorry, can result in A, which is saying cramps and quote unquote stitches, right? Um, it's sort of faded at this point. So if you're not seeing the answer, um, this is why I'm calling it out. So I'll call out all of the options that were available. So they had cramps and stitches, poor energy supply, um, reduced sugar levels, or better muscle performance. So the answer would be cramps because all of the blood is going to be focused or most of your blood, your body is going to focus it to help with digestion. So that's why you should wait until you have digested your meal or not eat before doing strenuous exercise. 51, blood boosting increases the number of red blood cells in blood. An athlete whose blood has been boosted can perform better in a race because he or she, A, is stronger, B, can breathe faster, C, can absorb more oxygen, or D, is more immune to disease? The answer would be C, 
can absorb more oxygen. The more red blood cells you have, the more oxygen you're going to have in your blood. 52. Which of the following outcomes best describes the effect of low temperature on bread mold? So you have A, they are killed, B, growth rate decreases, C, growth rate increases, or D, there is no change in the growth rate. The answer would be B, which states that the growth rate decreases. 53. Excessive exposure to sun and the sun's rays is likely to cause the body temperature um, to rise, leading to A, fainting, B, poisoning, C, heat shock, or D, heat stroke. The answer would be D, heat stroke. 54. The following features, 1, 2, and 3, compare AM and FM in broadcasting. So the correct features are, the answer would be B, which is 3 only. With AM um, broadcasting, yes, it does have um, an amplitude change, or the amplitude does change, but with FM, the amplitude is constant, so it is not one. With two, AM does not have good reception, and FM is poor reception, right? And... Uh, Three, we have the transmitted um, over long rates or can be transmitted over long range, which is AM, that's correct, and FM, transmitted over a short range. So the answer is three only. Fifty-five. So item fifty-five refers to the figure below showing the um, ray diagram involved when using an instrument to view objects above water. So you have the light from distant object, you're seeing the light ray coming in, it's hitting this mirror here, coming down, hitting this mirror, and then getting into the eye. So which of the following properties of light does this instrument utilize? It utilizes one and three, which is reflection and traveling in straight lines. Item 56 refers to the following diagram. So you have the apparatus below is used in a simple activity. So inside of the, um, the beaker here, you have crushed leaves in alcohol and then you have a water bath and heat source at the bottom. So what is the main purpose of the activity demonstrated above? The answer is D, removing the pigment from the leaf. And finally, the last four, 57. If you push a book across a desk, friction is the force that slows it down. We saw this in 2010. Um, 58, when a balloon is filled with air and is released, and air reach, I'm sorry, the air reaches out in a forward direction. Why am I reading, stupidness? <laughs> 58, when a balloon is filled with air and is released, the air rushes out in a forward direction, causing the balloon to move A, upward, B, forward, C, backward, or D, downward. So think about it. Let's see if this answer is correct. You have a balloon, it's filled with air and you release it. The air is rushing out of it in a forward direction. If it's going forward, then it's going to go in a backward direction. Because we all know that we're blowing the balloon. We have, let's say, this is the balloon here. By the way, I cannot draw, so please bear with me, right? So we have our balloon, and the air is being released 
this balloon is not going to go downward it's going to go in the next direction in the direction that the air or the opposite direction to where the air is blowing or coming out so if the air is coming out forward the balloon is going to move backward so the answer is actually c and not d 59 the eye of the hurricane is a the center of the hurricane and 60 areas near the coastline are generally cooler because d the cooler air from the sea replaces the heated land air and we know this is con due to convectional currents so that's it for um this paper which is may june 2011 if um, you picked up on any errors, please let me know in the comments and we'll discuss it there. Anything you're not sure about or you didn't understand, also you can leave a comment and we'll get back to that, okay? Bye!